Cindy Kids, welcome back to my YouTube channel, the best place for avant-garde makeup and high-end retouching. Today we're going to be doing a Euphoria inspired look. It's not exactly from the Euphoria show, it's just my own personal twist on it. If you didn't know, in my YouTube channel now, I'm doing a series where I'm taking avant-garde looks and diluting it into editorial wearable looks. So if you want to see how I went from this to this, then keep on watching. This is the look that I'm doing today. It was inspired by the show Euphoria. If you haven't watched it, it's on HBO. I love it. I drew this face chart on Procreate. And if you want to learn how to make your own customized face charts like so, using just a selfie and this app, then you can watch this video up here and learn all about how to make customized face charts. So first we're gonna do a foundation. We'll be using the Fit Me Foundation from Maybelline. I'm using the color of 220 Natural Beige. I already wet my beauty blender a little bit and I'm just bouncing this across my face. If you guys have been following me for a while, thank you first of all, you would also know that all of my work really is focused on avant-garde makeup which essentially is wearable art. It's derived from high fashion, couture, and so those are the things that really inspire me. But a lot of people ask me what other places of inspiration I source from and TV shows, movies will inspire me. For example, Hunger Games, the costume design on there is impeccable. So when Euphoria came out, I don't really like to hop on trends as much, but this was one trend that I thought was actually appropriate. <laughs> So it's been a long time coming since I've really made a YouTube tutorial, but I'm really excited to be doing a look that hopefully you guys can wear. If you wear it, if you use this tutorial, if you recreate it, make sure you comment below. Let me know if you like it or not and post on Instagram and tag me. I'm Cindy Chen Designs on Instagram and TikTok. For concealer, I'm using Milk Makeup Flex Concealer in the color of dun -dun -dun -dun, Light Beige Clan. Which of my nose, underneath where I get red spots. A little bit on my forehead and a little bit on my chin. Take that soft beauty blender and beep, 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 beep. Another question that I commonly get is, Cindy, do you ever cover up your beauty mark? My answer to that is, I try not to. When I do symmetrical looks and obviously the beauty mark is really indicative of an asymmetrical face, I do a trick where I just put a little gem on there and I match it with another gem. So essentially, I'm just covering it up for the sake of symmetry, but I don't usually like to cover it up because I feel like when I was growing up, there was a lack of representation on the media for people with beauty marks. And I wanted to be that person as a content creator, as an influencer, to be able to show up on camera and say, hey, this is beautiful and it's okay to have a larger birthmark or a beauty mark on your face. This is actually not a birthmark. I developed it when I was two years old. I've checked it for many years as I was growing up and the doctor said that it is totally fine. There's a younger audience that I have on TikTok and so when people follow me on TikTok and they tell me and they comment, hey, you know, like I've never seen a person with a beauty mark right on their forehead just like me and I've been really insecure about it. So it's really inspiring to see someone with a beauty mark, you know, shamelessly and confidently showing it off on camera and not feeling any insecurities about it. That's like really what my goal was. I'll be setting my face now with the All Nighter Waterproof Setting Powder from Urban Decay Cosmetics and gently pat it around the places where I put concealer and cream so that they don't slide around. I love laughing and I love smiling, so I often get creases right underneath my eye, so I powder extra here. I'm just too smiley for my own good. Now we're gonna bronze your face using NYX Professional Makeup's California Beaming in the color of Golden State. It's a little bit shimmery. I love how big it is, so you can really just tap that under the cheekbones. Under my jaw and blend it out. I'm gonna take the same bronzer, but I'm gonna be really light about this. I'm going to contour my nose a little bit. So just do one singular tap and draw down. It's gonna look a little bit weird at first, but not to worry, we will be blending this. Blend it outwards, down, out. I'm not adding any more product. I'm just blending out what's already on. And then I'm gonna blend inwards. This is probably going to be just a little bit harsher because I'm doing it for the camera and not wearing it out. So brushing off the excess, I'm actually going to soften the middle completely by just brushing this downwards. Now it's much softer, right? But now it looks like I have a brown nose and I don't want that. This is something I learned from Nikki Tutorials. I'm gonna take a highlighter. In this case, I'm gonna use Milk Makeup, the mini highlighter stick turnt. I'm gonna take my finger and add the highlighter to the bridge of my nose at the tip 
So I'm gonna add highlighter also to my cheeks because I'm using it right now. The reason I'm using my fingers too for this is because I used to put it directly on my skin and then it would rub the foundation off. For my eyebrows, I'm gonna be starting to move over to a euphoria look, which means normally I do my eyebrows a little bit on the dark brown shade, but I'm actually going to use a sort of pink coral shade and that's going to help my eyes stand out because my eyes are gonna be dark blue and glittery, shiny, I should say. I am taking a angled brush. I'm gonna be using the Ultraviolet Naked Palette from Urban Decay for my eyebrows and my highlights as well, but not for my eyes, maybe for my eyes. This is how the palette looks. I'm gonna be using this color, Hacked. The way I like to do my eyebrows is just color it in with eyeshadow because my hairs are pretty fine. They're not sparse, they're actually pretty thick and girth with. <laughs> I'll just shut up and just do my eyebrows. For my eye primer, I'm actually gonna be using a concealer from NYX Professional Makeup. It's the Can't Stop Won't Stop Concealer in the color Pale. This is also really good if you wanna do cut crease. I'm not doing cut crease. I'm only trying to make sure that I get a really, really pigmented look. Blink, 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 blink. I'm gonna use this brush and I'm going to spread it out. Spread, cream cheese, spread, 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 spread. Glitch, glitch, glitch. And then I'm gonna blend this area out. I like to think about it as if you were priming a canvas. So, you know, when you're painting on a canvas, they actually paint it white first, right? Have you ever gotten like a Bob Ross painting kit or whatnot? He makes you paint the canvas white first. The reason they do that is because you can get the colors, the paints to stick on. So now that we have our base done, I'm going to take the NYX Professional Makeup Ultimate Shadow Palette. This is the palette Ash. So it's a little bit on the darker side. I'm gonna be taking this blue. I'm gonna put it in the outer corners and the inner corners of my eye. We're running low on brushes, so I'm gonna take this one, which is definitely not made for this, but it's okay. What's a question I get commonly asked? What's your boyfriend's name? If you're coming from TikTok and you watch my TikToks, a lot of people have questions about my husband and they always call him my boyfriend, which is so frustrating because <laughs> I always correct them and I say, hey, this is my husband. I put makeup on my husband, 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 husband. Guess what? Nobody cares. They're like, oh, your boyfriend. I'm like, okay, it's fine. If you're in denial that we're married, it's totally fine that you want to think that you can steal him. You can try. Finally, we're getting to the eyeshadow. I'm using the blue and I'm tap, 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 tapping it on the outer corner of my eye. And the cream that I had laid out is picking it up quite nice. And by using a smaller brush, I'm actually preventing fallout by pressing it. I'm gonna blend that inwards. Now I'm gonna go to the inner corner of the eye and follow like your eyeball shape. I have a tapered eyelid, so like my crease is here, but my eyeball goes up to here. I'm gonna blend it inwards, and I'm gonna blend the other one inwards as well. So it's kind of covering it up, but we're gonna be adding to the center. I don't want it to be super bare, but I also don't want it to be completely empty. I'm going back to the Naked Ultraviolet palette, and I'm going to take this color, Lucid. I'm gonna take this tiny little brush, tap, and this eyeshadow color looks white when you look at it on the palette, but when it picks up on the light, it's like kind of iridescent and holographic. So it kind of turns into this like blue-ish shade, which is why it's so perfect to be in the middle of this look. Tap, press it in, brush it off the eyelashes if it gets in there, and spread that out a little bit so it blends into the blue. Now what I would like to do is actually blend out this edge just because I don't like how circular it is. So I'm gonna take this brush. Actually, I'm not gonna use any product on here first. I'm gonna blend out just the ends. I'm just pressing it and pulling it outwards. I'm gonna go back into the same blue, extend it further out. And at any point, if you think it's too much, take the brush that you used to spread out your base and clean it up. What I still want is there to be like a crease like a smoky eye, but because this is like a euphoria look, I want it to kind of extend out dramatically. Now going back to the iridescent color that I used in the middle, I'm gonna add that to my brow bone. I wanna use my finger to blend it out. So now that I have this, I kinda wanna like extend the inside as well. So I'm gonna take this again and the same blue, I'm gonna draw it into the corner of my eye. Just extending it from where I had ended up here before and going inside. 
Now taking the same small brush for the iridescent, I'm going to do it underneath my eye. Right at this little corner and press it in so it's really highly pigmented. And this little pop of brightness is going to open up my eye more. Okay, going back to the same blue, going underneath my eye. I alternate between the big and the small brushes so that when I add more pigment with the small brush, I can control the amount, but I can blend it out with the bigger brush. And now that I'm satisfied with the eye area, I'm actually gonna use the same highlight in the middle of my eye and also the inner corner of my eye to the rest of my face where I actually started putting highlight on before. I'm gonna use my finger because that's what I was using for a highlight on my face and I'm going to tap it. Because this is powder, I can kind of like tap and rub. Now I'm gonna do my eyelashes. First I'm gonna curl them and then I'm gonna put on mascara. Curl. Look down and curl. Now for my eyelashes, I'm going to use the Lash Freak from Urban Decay. It's my current favorite because it's got a very interesting applicator that have, has really, really small bristles and it helps me get my eyelashes on the top and the bottom really easily. Now the fun part is in Euphoria, a lot of the looks have some sort of crystals or jewels or gems. For this look, I'm gonna be using pearls because I love pearls and they're also kind of classy. So I'm gonna take eyelash glue and I'm going to dab it directly at the points of my face that I want to position a gem. I'm doing them one at a time because I wanna see how it looks on my face. And once it's on your face, wait for it to get tacky a little bit after it's exposed to the air. Pick up a gem and pop it on. Now repeat the process until you're satisfied with how many gems you have on your face. I'm gonna space these out a little bit so I'm gonna do another one right here. Going around my eye, I'm just following the little line that I created with eyeshadow. And my final one, I'm not gonna do it right here at the tip. But I'm actually going to go in smaller and use a smaller gem. And this will make the look a little bit more dynamic. Also a little touch at the end here. So that was a super simple way of adding these beautiful pearls onto your face. So we can't complete a dramatic look without super dramatic eyelashes. So I'm gonna be using the eyelashes I have from Neish Eyelashes. And they're very, very long. I had to cut them a little bit so that they fit for the eyelashes. So I like to do the same thing. I place the glue right on my lash line. For my inner waterline, just for the top, not the bottom, I'm using a Makeup Forever Aqua XL Black Eyeliner. And I'm gonna do this scary thing where I just kind of stare really wide at my mirror and draw in my waterline. For my lips, I'm gonna use NYX Professional Makeup's Glitter Goals Lipstick, Liquid Lipstick, in the color of Oil Spill. I've never used this before, this is my first time using it, so hope this is good. <gasps> oh, I love it! Oh, this is perfect. Okay, now we're done and we'll just get changed like this. And this is the final look. If you like this video, smash that like button and leave a comment below of what you wanna see next. And I'm gonna give a shout out for whoever has the best comment. Woohoo! If you're on Instagram or TikTok, follow me at Cindy Chen Designs. And on YouTube, if you're new here, hit the subscribe button and notification bell. As usual, stay creative, and I will see you in the next one. Bye! Woo, it's hot in here. It's getting hot in here. So take up all your clothes. I am getting so hot, I wanna take my clothes off.